my friends. You know, I've just been having so much fun um, thinking about sentences and um, how I could, you know, kind of play with words, putting them together to make a thought. That's really what a sentence is. It's words put together to tell one idea. Um, I've had a lot of ideas while I've been sitting here. In fact, I have been laughing about some of them. They've been so funny. Of course, it would be much funnier if you were here with me. Um, I do love to laugh with you, friends. So, here we have some word strips. These are like your magic lines, so you can make these at home. Um, the ideas I had for making these would be you can make them out of cardboard, like out of your cereal box um, when you're done eating your cereal. Um, what else? Oh, you know how you've been making sentences about, with your spotlight words and the words you can tap? You could use index cards for this. Um, I had one other idea. Oh, paper plates I thought would be a good idea because it's a little thicker and you can move them around, the words around a little bit. But I have these. And, um, oh, I'll be able to teach you the rules of sentence writing with them. You see how this one is a little different? So when you make your sentence strips, make sure you make one like this. The reason why this one looks different is because this is, goes at the beginning of the sentence. And the beginning of the sentence always has an uppercase letter. That's let us, that lets us know that's the beginning of the sentence. And my sentence has one, two, three, four sentence frames, sentence strips, and um, that means there's only going to be four words. So here we go. The first word is a spotlight word. It starts with the letter T and it's three letters. Let's see if you can guess it. That's our first word. And then we need our next word. Oh, we can't put it there. What's missing? Oh, this is the second rule of um, sentence writing. Mr. Spaceman. So Mr. Spaceman goes in between. Okay, now here's the next word. The... Oh, I can tap this word. K -a -t. The cat. Ka -t. K -a -t. Cat. The cat. Mr. Spaceman. Here's the spotlight word. You remember that one? I hope you do. I hope you're doing your spelling bee with your spotlight words and your tappable words. The cat is, and then you could put really anything after that. The cat is tall. The cat is uh, here. The cat is out. The cat is b, i, g. The cat is b, i, g, b, i, g, big. The cat is big. That's my sentence. The cat is big. So if I was going to draw a picture of this, I would draw a big cat. Maybe I'd draw a big cat sitting in its bed or maybe in your bed that would be a fun picture or maybe the cat is big and it's outside maybe the big cat is a tiger maybe you think it's a big cat but it's really not well how will we know the way we can get more information about this sentence is by the last rule of sentence making and that is punctuation so this square is for a period 
the period tells us to stop. Stop at the end of the sentence. The sentence is over. The cat is big. There's a lot of illustrations that can go with that. But what if you did this? You'd be like, the cat is big. And that would be a different illustration. Maybe the cat would be so big that it's scary. Maybe the cat would be a lion or a tiger, a big cat. But maybe your baby sister thinks the cat is big, but you can tell clearly that it isn't. You're a big kid and you know that the cat isn't big, it's small, but your little baby sister says, the cat is big. And you say, uh-oh. No, Susie, the cat is big? You ask a question and this is a question mark. So that would be a different illustration. So the punctuation at the end of the sentence gives us a lot of information about what the sentence is really about. The cat is big. Uh-oh, <laughs> I told you this has been fun. The cat is big, or that one where you're really not sure if the cat is big. Hmm, you look at that cat and you think the cat is big? So what I want you to do is illustrate the sentence, but you pick the punctuation and I want to see what you pick. I want to see what you illustrate. I want to see your sentence. So you can use sentence frames like this that you've made yourself. Um, if you can't find anything to make them out of, that's okay. Use magic lines. Use your finger. Your finger is the same size as Mr. Spaceman. Use that. You can make your own Mr. Spaceman. I don't know. Whatever you do is okay with me because it's going to be yours. It's going to be special. It's going to be different and unique like you are. So you don't have to be the best at this, friends. Just do your best. I know you will. This is really turning the chickadee corners, friends. I mean, I see the kindergarten corner not too far off. So give it a try. You could, there's so many words you can tap. You can tap any word that has a consonant, a vowel, and a consonant. So drill your sounds every day and have fun making sentences. I know I did. See you soon, guys. Bye.